In this lesson, we are going to cover a command called standard 3 view. But before we do that, on the screen I have an A3 sheet open. Now as you know from previous lessons, when you go into the drawing environment, you are prompted for a sheet. And as soon as you select the sheet, it displays on the screen, like you see it here, and it also displays the property manager for model view. Since we're not talking about model view, I am going to select the red X to cancel out of the model view command. Now we're ready to go into the standard three view command. But before we do that, let's read the message that pops up. The standard three view command will add three standard orthogonal views. This will be the front top and right side view. It also says something about first or third angle projection. So let's begin. I am going to select standard three view and the property manager opens. And just like the model view command, you can select the part or assembly from the open documents window, or you can select the browse button and find the part or assembly that you wanna create the drawing views for. I do wanna create three standard views for the angle bracket. So there's really nothing more in this property manager. So I'm gonna select the green check mark and notice on the screen, we have three standard views, the front, top, and right. And as far as the standard three view command, that's about it. However, when we placed the cursor above the standard three view command earlier, it said something about first or third angle. Well, how do we switch between first and third angle projection? If we go into the command, there is nothing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of it. The way we switch between first and third angle projection is very simple. However, new SOLIDWORKS users, when they do want to switch between first and third, they struggle to find this setting. All you need to do is right mouse click in the sheet area and select properties. And a sheet properties dialog box appears. And at the top of this dialog box, you will see first angle projection and third angle projection. So this is how you toggle between the two. Along with the projection, notice we have some other settings in this dialog box. We can change the name of the sheet from sheet one to something more descriptive. Now, where does this name display? It displays down here in the tab, sheet one. You can also set the sheet scale. Along with controlling the labels for view labels and datum labels, so if you don't want to start with the letter A, you can type in a different letter or value here. Notice we also have sheet format. So if the A3 ANSI landscape format is not the correct format, you can select a different format. For example, A2. This is a larger format. So if I select OK, it updates the sheet on the screen. I right mouse click, select properties, and I'll return it to the A3 ANSI landscape. So as you see, this dialog box for sheet properties has a lot of good information in it. But this is where you find the first and third angle projection. One last thing I wanna cover before we finish this lesson is let's talk about the tabs down here. I currently have one sheet. If I need a second sheet, one method is to select add sheet and sheet two is added and it's an empty sheet. Notice if I right mouse click on sheet one, I can make sheet one active. Or I can simply click on the tabs, which is more efficient. If I right mouse click on sheet one, I can also add sheets from this pop up menu, along with copy a sheet, delete a sheet, or rename the tabs. So, for example, if I copy the sheet you see on your screen, I can right mouse click and then paste it. And a message comes up wanting to know where to paste the sheet before the selected sheet, after the selected sheet, or move to end. I'll select OK, and it will place it between sheet one and sheet two. If I right mouse click one more time, notice we have properties, and this will take you back to the same sheet properties dialog box. So now that we've covered the standard three view, along with how to toggle between first and third angle projection, we are ready to end this lesson and move on to the next lesson.